What's up guys? Welcome back to another horror episode where we'll be taking a look at a game called Dying of Thirst. So basically you wake up in the middle of the night really thirsty so you have to brave the corridors in the dark to go and get your drink. So let's begin. I like the fact I've got like a party cup. Like hasn't this person got actual like proper cups, proper human cups? Can I like turn the lights on like a normal person? Like my massive freaking switches are bigger than my cup. Can I not turn them on? Okay. I cannot run in this game, which I hate horror games where you cut ca you can't run. Um, I can't tell if that's a person or a tree because obviously it's got like the very pixelated um PlayStation One style of graphics, which aquarium which i really like it always in my opinion adds to the the grittiness of a horror because it's you know it's got quite jagged ed edges like on this aquarium it's not smooth it's not perfect i mean your fish look like they're dying um anyway let's go and let's go to the highlighted fridge and get ourselves a much needed drug and this i presume it's the fridge because it's highlighted is definitely a person right there right there in my freaking garden what are you doing mate get out of my garden mm. nice barbecue don't you steal my barbecue oh there's something in the house nope and here's something i don't know what it is it's like a thud every now and then well, I'm going to ignore the weird person in my garden because I'm so thirsty and I'm completely missing it. I'm just wetting my hand. I like that he's not moved, but the senses have still come on. What's that noise? I mean, I'm just going to ignore you again because apparently I don't want to go out there and investigate. He, he ran. He did a sprinty thing. Where did he sprint to? Okay, I'm just gonna still still get my drink on my hand like you do. My fish my fish are bubbling. Hooked fish. Or is that just like the air purifier stuff going A wire? Okay. I'm wondering if it's gonna be one of them games. You know when you wake up in the night, you know when you, you wake up and you've gone to go and use the toilet because you really need to use the toilet, then you wake up from that and you've not gone to the toilet and you still need to use the toilet. I wonder if it's one of them things about for water. I mean, if all this stuff, I swear that was closed a minute ago. Um, if all this stuff was happening in my house and I saw someone lingering in the in, in my kitchen I was going to say in my garden but they're quite evidently in my kitchen now I wouldn't still be getting water I mean, they look like an alien hi okay <laughs> what are you going to do are you going to hide in my cupboards like a weirdo Get out of my cupboards, please. Nope. Nope. Apparently I can't investigate my cupboards. Even though someone evidently snuck into them. You know, I'm quite I'm quite curious to know how I'd like to be that flexible to fit into a cupboard. Without having to put all the utensils and all that stuff out. I'm waiting for like a massive jump scare at the end now. Okay. I don't get how this person's so calm. Back to bed I go. Into my bed. Hi. Um, can I... I've been ignoring you this entire time, so can I just get into bed now? 
Well, I feel like I'm going slower. Oh, is that it? Okay, guys, so that was Dying of Thirst. It was a very, very simplistic horror game. There was nothing really to it, but what made it effective was the use of graphic and sounds as well as the creepy things that were happening in the house. And then you've got the title. I really like the title. You've got the Dying of Thirst and you've got this person lingering around, so I think that was a very clever title. Overall, it was a nice, short, but effective horror game. So that's it for today, guys, but if you enjoyed the video, then please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more, then don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.